started as a band? Let, let, let's pull back the curtain a little bit. Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> this is like, it's like the, uh, the first time in how many years? Uh, so I think we have not played together since 2001. Right. And, uh, and last year, pre-pandemic, we decided we were going to get back together. And the pandemic thwarted those plans. And uh, I was uh, formerly our trumpet player. And I picked up the trumpet, and uh, my five-year-old played it way better than I did at that point. <laughs> I was like, that's the end of that. And I'm like, oh, super lips. So uh, this kid's got it going on. Yeah, so she's our new trumpet player. No. <laughs> Steve, Steve is actually here today. He's our new trumpet player. Uh, we're that's not right. playing with horns today. Steve. We didn't want to blow pandemic into the air. He, coronavirus. He, he joins us from uh, friends back in the day, Fat Cactus was the name of his former band. Um, they may get back together, who knows? Uh, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> it's fine. It's like, you know. <laughs> but Scott's over there as well, I think you mentioned it. But yeah, so they're gonna, they'll do air horns. Uh, That's right. Literally air horns, they're just gonna blast them in between songs. Um, I gotta give it up to our good friend, Tim Snow, who put a lot of work into this, man. You know, that cared. That, that's that's one word to describe this whole process. The the vinyl looks amazing. When we released Fixing Stupid back in 99, yeah. um, CDs were like all the rage. We had boxes of those jewel boxes. Jeez. And I think Tim has them now, because yeah, they never right. sold. So he owns them. <laughs> They're like, oh, um, yeah, I'll, t I'll take those for like half a penny a piece now. But... What do we want to start with? Uh, so we're just, we've only, uh, fair warning here, uh, we have not really gotten together uh, in, since it started. I think February is when the last time we got together. So uh, we've kind of piecemealed some rehearsals. This might not sound very good, but thank you hey, for joining us at Please. school. <laughs> Understand we're going into this. Understand this could sound like real s. There's kids here, so I won't use my bad language. Go see our friend Boomtown United's band. Uh, uh, amazing, they're amazing. Boomtown. So good. They're so hot right now. Yes, they are. Boomtown. Even in a pandemic. Yeah. All right, I think we're gonna play uh, off of fixing. So we're gonna play three. We're gonna play four songs for you. I think that's all we can muster in this pandemic and uh three of them will be off the album and then we'll play one off of the second the self title album uh so i think we're gonna play you know it first right is that what you got ted sure uh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. hey ted yeah. So, yeah. Are, are, are you nervous ted no are you nervous yeah. no ted seems nervous here <laughs> i think i'm nervous I'm, st I'm still in tennessee fishing i got butterflies right now are you guys looking All right, if the sound is, if anything's lacking out there, just let us know. And we'll turn it down, turn it up. So.
on fighting Ooh, uh. We know that we need to keep on writing A saves life from biting That's my favorite line right there You guys like this jersey? Yeah. Compliments of my man. T Snow. Thank you. This is awesome. Give him one away. Sorting. How you doing on that, Jordan? <laughs> Jordan's, Jordan's all fogged up. He's like, man, what is going on? So we recorded this album. Do you guys remember this? In David Probst's shed. A mile away from here. It's true. It was close. And oh, bless his heart, the, it was almost like medicinal. David would we'd have a thermos of coffee in an eight-hour session. They were like eight-hour blocks, and we recorded this over four days. I think it was like rapid, boom, done. But he had he had drank three of these thermoses a session and had. It was like a crock. 14 lines of cocaine. <laughs> it was like, it was a crock of uh, the chocolate frosting. He would just eat it spoonful. Oh, God. <laughs> would he do that much cocaine? It was a, it was a, what are you gonna there do? was no drugs involved. It, this oh. guy was just on caffeine. No, no, that was, that was me. That was us. No. It was frosting. Was that? <laughs> but it was literally a mile away. I mean, down uh, Matilda. By Federhofer's. Yeah, this is uh, Jordan and I's old stomping ground. We grew up. We went to Bayless High School. What's right up, Nothing. 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 <laughs> Nothing. What's next, Ted? This song was written before I even joined the group. I like Francis. This was written about. Do you guys remember the pretzel guy that used to stand awesome. at, at Gravoy and River de Pair? Yeah, so this was about. Him one day struggle. Uh, the struggle was real. <laughs> this is true. This is a true story. <laughs> he had he had a pretzel down his pants. It was cold. At least to my recollection, he had a pretzel down his pants. It was kind of scratching, you know, like a and like you know using the pretzels, salt as a you know these pre they aren't like the it was like the it's like the long stick. Yeah, the so it was almost like a back scratcher, but he was using it in front. So. Uh, Ball rub pretzels is the result. Oh, jeez. <laughs> on, on this very oh, song, yeah, the, 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 the band played Warp Tour, like the third Warp Tour and back in the day. And this very song, like the band was on stage and we just freaked out. And I busted my lip on a on the microphone. Oh, and I was yeah. just oh, yeah. <laughs> You looked like the Joker. You had green hair and a big red. <laughs> Second song into the set. Oh, <laughs> this might go better than the first song. We'll see.
Jacob is, he's a mail carrier in Ferguson, Missouri. <laughs> it's a treat. He's a big boy now. Uh, mail carriers make good money. <laughs> Do you want to go there? It's relative, but it's good money. Yes, yes. All right, so we'll play, uh, we'll play a few more. I hope you're having fun. It's a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, I, remember, I see some beers and people's hands. Like, I love that. It's like a real thing, and I have not felt a real thing in a while. So uh, yeah. I hope you're it's all beautiful. Ready. This is a big day for you. <laughs> this is huge. You're gonna leave. I'm this gonna party. leave this place and go get a pretzel. And go get a pretzel <laughs> at another party in another backyard somewhere. That's true. So this one is off the. Uh, we're gonna play the one. Oh. I forgot I have a secondary face mask down here. If I need it. Uh, this is off the second album, the self-titled record. Tim, when's that come out? Uh, record store day next year. Okay, there we go. Whoop, whoop. Thank you, brother. Alright. Should we wait for you? Yeah, for we go. Wait for you. We'll play this song twice. <laughs>
This is your song, dude. Here we go, here we go. Jersey, as modeled by Jason Nelson, are and Gail. What up? Gail's wearing one. That's right. That is the female version. And, I, no. and this will go for big bucks on eBay tomorrow. <laughs> this is a test pressing of the album that is autographed by the band. Yeah. Big and Guam and Japan. Yeah. And Japan. Jason, you want to uh, you want to do the honors here? That'd be great. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Where am I? Here we go. Maybe you should look a little. Jeez. All right. Uh, Corey Montnum. Corey Moentnum. Corey, I'm bastardizing your name. I, I am so sorry. Sir Corey. Yes, Corey. Corey. Not here. Do they have to be in attendance, Tim? I would say. I would think so. Hey, Corey. No. Corey? No. No. I would just give it to Don and just say, "Hey, this is who won." You would say what? Just give it to Don and say, "Here's your winner." Oh, okay. Well, that's very anticlimactic. All these people showed up for us today. I think we should override that. Whatever you guys want to do. I'm not. I'm not a snitch. Overriding. I'll tell you what, if Corey does not show up before the final song, I think we draw again because these people showed up today. And look, that's right. That's right. I am thankful that Corey bought a record. Showing out. But, Corey, get your ass down here. <laughs> Give you one song. If somebody knows Corey, call the. He's, or she is in Guam right now. I don't know. So this is it. We got a couple. One, one more or two more? One, one more is. I don't want to. Say what? <laughs> we might be able to pull together some skill. You love these songs. Um. This song is off uh, Fixing Stupid. It's called Felicity.
That was a big, big time. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Corey ever show up? Afton rocks. Corey's not here. Corey? Corey. He's in Japan. I hate to do this. Actually, I don't hate to do it. I think I think there's a deserving person. Can I hold the bag and you draw? Oh, you feel better about that? Do you? <laughs> Big winner. Beth? Beth. <laughs> you hear me call? Is this... <laughs> Beth, I hear Beth? you call. Uh, Draw it again. I mean, what? Is this the right list, Don? <laughs> he just wrote names down. And his handwriting is very neat. It's tidy. <laughs> Let's keep going. Not like it's a mistake. <laughs> Ashley? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Fire burn! I don't think these are real. <laughs> Ashley? Draw another one. Emosabi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grab me one, Jordan. <laughs> John! John Gears? Gears? Man, this is so cool. Who are you people? <laughs> These are the people who bought the album. You're not supposed to be here. You're not here, Jimmy. <laughs> One more time. Gabe. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Aren't you glad you for your patience? <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. It goes without saying, but I must say it. Orange Street loves you all. Thank you so much for coming out today. Happy beers. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great afternoon, and uh, we will be back soon, hopefully.